Zebra Herd, welcome back to Forager. Today we are continuing with the game. In the time that I had to set up the next episode, it became nighttime, so I don't know if that's good or bad. There's, oh, another person set up over here. I'm a little bit farther away from where I was before, and really the goal is that I'm just trying to find a couple things. The first thing is I need to make torches, so I'm trying to find flint, and I've been having a hard time with that. No matter where I seem to look, I've been digging a lot of stuff up, I don't seem to get it. So I wanted to also knock down some stuff, so now that we have a better, Heavy hammer, might as well do that. Let in the darkness, brighten a dark spot with torches. You can handcraft torches using a few basic. I know it's just like, I, I don't know, I've dug a lot and I haven't found any flint. So is it gravel? You would think, but hasn't really told me. I did notice though that there is an option. Where is it? Knowledge. And maybe I can find out about it in here. Go to light, flint, a common crafting unit. A decidedly primal material found throughout the universe. That doesn't really help. That doesn't actually give any information to act on, besides the fact that you find a lot of it. But if I find a lot of it, then why don't I have any? You know? That's the weird part. So I'm gonna keep digging and finding some stuff. I just wanted to get a couple tree trunks because I also got some sap out of it. That's pretty good, right? Okay, with all that being done, like here, like this is definitely gravel. If I hit this with the shovel, what do I get? Gravel. Like, what, what do I, can I turn gravel into flint? Is there a crafting option for that? Maybe that's what I'm missing. So let me check that out. If there's, because you know, I could turn rocks into stone. But that might be actually something I have to visit my thing for, so my crafting table. So maybe that's what I'm messing up. You know, little things like that are a little tough to learn in this game so far. Not always super duper straightforward, but that's okay. Doesn't mean it's bad, just means take some time. I did notice some ore on the side of a wall that I use to get over here. You can see the reflection in the sky. That's pretty cool in the water. It is a very pretty game. I wish it could be a little bit more vibrant. It feels like it is some, you know, more basic tones, but maybe that's just me. I really like vibrance. And there's some more rocks over on that side as well. Hard to see where the rocks are. You can't really do the crouch move. Ah, like you can in Minecraft. So I might just have to let some of this stuff pass by me because I don't really know the best way to even get it. And what is that stuff on the wall? There might even be more cubits in the rock, so I would love to dig towards that. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, we'll, we'll do what we can. We'll try our best. And like, you can sort of kind of climb up these slanted rocks a little. Not the most easy, easily, but you can. But I wanna try getting to that stuff that was over there. Stuff that was on the wall, the glowy stuff. And to do that, I think I need to go through here, so let's start breaking some of this, and then I need a shovel for this. Got it. See, this is more gravel. Oh, we got a flint for that one. So it is just a matter of chance. So we got one flint. I need to get four flint though, so that I can turn that into four torches. So hopefully I can find exactly just that. Might take a lot of work. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure I don't walk right off the edge somewhere. And just try to be aware of what I'm looking for and where it could be. Okay, so I, I think I just need to keep moving straight across. So how much flint do I have? I have one flint. So what's with it being so common if I've only found one just doing what I've been doing already? I don't know, to me that's a little odd. So we're just gonna keep going. Right, take a look around the corner a little bit. I might have to beat my way down. So let's just hit down like this and get that block broken. But it is very nice to you know have some upgraded materials. Of course I upgraded these. Last episode I got the uh, metal stuff instead of it being just wooden. And that's definitely making a bit of a difference. Okay, so that stuff, that glowy stuff is right down this way. Yep, here it is. So can I even break this? This is igneous rock, but this is ancient tech remnant seam. Though it is a lot more health, but it gave me ancient tech remnant. Okay, very cool. So definitely something in these blocks. I'm gonna take as much of it as I can. Is that it? Looks like it to me. So like I could keep looking for ores. It's sort of hard to tell where they are. So I think what might be smarter is digging this way and maybe digging a staircase upwards. And who knows, maybe along the way I'll find even more stuff. So get rid of the dirt. Get rid of this dirt as well. See, this is where I could actually see it. Oh gosh, our character's creepy looking. Um, being more useful to do this. Unequip it and then re-equip it to the left. That way we can equip that and this. And depending on what we run into, we can just sort of hit it with the correct thing. It's a little bit more accessible. So like that works. It's a little odd at times. Our hammer is slowly losing durability as expected. Level six though, not bad. 
So let's hop up this way and get rid of some of this. Hopefully blocks don't fall. So far they don't seem to, like stuff like gravel and sand and stuff do not seem to fall, which I would imagine is the case because once again, this is like a server-based game. It is an MMO. There's a lot of other people playing in the same world as me. It'd probably be tough to generate all that kind of stuff falling over and stuff. Probably also why there probably isn't TNT or anything. But still, pretty cool concept for a game. I do like it. I'm gonna move up this way as much as we can. Now we're just gonna staircase our way upwards and hope that we're getting, like home is this way. You can tell by the meter on the top. Oh, this is uh, something I need this for. Gotcha. And then I can break this open. There we go, we're making some good progress. One, two, three. There we go, so it looks like things take three hits to get rid of with our current material, our current gear. That isn't too bad. I wonder if we can make armor at some point. I don't know, for whatever reason, I don't expect it, but it's definitely possible. Oh no, I'm out of energy. Ooh, was not even paying attention to that. That could end up hurting me if I'm not careful. So yeah, break. Actually, I didn't need to break that one, but uh, I did. Oh well. I'm trying to stay one block behind just in case gravel blocks or any other kind of block can fall. Ooh, it's getting really dark now. I don't like that so much, but only so much I can do about it. Okay, so this is dirt. I am like in total darkness now. I mean, I should be able to make, uh, oh, 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 what was that? What was that? What, what was that? Oh, that was me. That was my own face. Oh, that scared me. I thought that was somebody looking at me in the darkness. Okay, I can craft one of these. Oh no, I can craft more. Did I get more flint? Yay, okay. So I think I, I did it. I, I crafted the four torches. So now that I've done that, let me go to my inventory. Can't believe I got so scared by our own face. Um, there we go, I can just hold this. Oh, that's perfect. So I actually wanna go back to the other, the inventory here and uh, unequip that and then re-equip it to the right. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> we figured it out. Got the four torches. And uh, yeah, with that, now we need to make doors. And to do that, I'm just gonna keep digging upwards until we're back home. Man, is this weird. I love it. But I feel like, you know, like that's the kind of thing where it's like it does not take that much effort to get torches in Minecraft, you know? So it feels like some things are a little bit more drawn out, which is also a little suspicious since there is some, you know, some things like in-game transactions and stuff. Definitely seems to be pushing me towards trying to buy stuff, but it's like, what I find weird about that is it is a $40 game. I could have just bought Minecraft for cheaper. So it's like, what, what, where are they getting that from, you know? It is weird that there's in-game currency. I don't plan on using it or buying it if I can. Resource catalog one. So it looks like we got some cool rewards for that. I like it. I do like the reward system. It makes it more rewarding to just continue playing. You know, with Minecraft, you, you know, just getting the rewards, you're like getting the materials is the reward. And to an extent that can be nice, but sometimes you're looking for a little bit more. That's where this is nice. I'm out of energy. I need to chill out for a second. All right, keep going. And uh, just keep on getting through this. We're a little bit more than halfway through our ax, but this copper ore we're knocking down, that's gonna be our best bet for getting whatever is gonna be better. Whatever the next step is, it's probably gonna be copper. So we need to build a furnace. So we need to get doors, we need to get storage blocks, and then probably eventually it's gonna tell us to make a furnace, but I don't know if it will. Might be something we have to clue in on ourselves. Let's get down this way. And try this out, come on, come on. And broken, good. So that seems to be everything from this little vein of it. I'm gonna get this one and maybe that'll be it. There's a lot of copper here though, which is a good thing. We have 18 in total now, 18, which is very nice. Okay, getting a little bit more used to just, you know, switching weapons as well, which is good. Need to be able to do that. No, I wanna hit this. There we go. Got it. Move back to this. Oh gosh, I'm getting very turned around. Break that up. And then while I'm figuring this out, I'm gonna wait and see if I can't just restore some stamina. Cause now we have coal and we have copper. Both of which I need. We're pretty far away from the top though. We have to be, or at least we were when we started. Like we've gone pretty far now. I'm a little turned around on where I was previously. Oh, maybe the gravel fell behind me. Or maybe I was going, oh, I was going this way. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, <laughs> thought that I was getting a little creeped out by that. It's like has somebody been following my tracks, covering up the hole, so I'd never see the surface again? That'd be weird. Yeah, I'm really like worried since it is like that. Basic minor feet complete, rock in a hard place. But um, I'm always very worried that somebody's just gonna show up and start messing with me. 
I don't know why, I'm just so paranoid about that. Got more stone up this way. We got some igneous rock. We got some soft coal. There's a lot of coal to get. Really is like Minecraft in that way. Got it. So I'm gonna get up like this and uh, get this last one. I hope this is the last piece of coal because I do want to work on getting back up. Oh, there's always one more. And you can't just walk away from one more piece. I right, we're low on energy. I'm gonna let that restore. I do sort of appreciate that it's not like Minecraft in the way that you just have to eat the food and get back to it. Like you can sort of let it deplete and it takes a long time to deplete before you start taking damage or anything. But there's even more coal. The veins for the coal are giant, which I'm sure I'll eventually appreciate. I'm sure I'm gonna need more and more soft coal. Maybe eventually I'm gonna need harder coal. Don't know what the difference really is. Okay, so uh, yeah, moving back this way, we got the copper waiting for us. And I'm definitely gonna guess it's gonna help us lead to our next thing. Oh, and we got more ancient material with this. I don't know what this will do for us, but I, it's gotta be worthwhile, right? So let's break that. And it definitely takes a lot more hits to get rid of. Oh, we got it. It's an, it's an ancient remnant stem. I saw one down there that I'm gonna grab in just a second. I just wanna break that stuff, and then I can get this. Oh, and it's on the floor too. Oh boy. Got it. And then this one. Is there any more with that? Gotta be careful, I don't think there's any lava in this game. But you never know, right? Let me break this, because I'm gonna try jumping across so that I don't have to. Ooh, there you go, got it! <laughs> that was cool. Good. So I don't have to uh, re put something in that spot to continue climbing up the staircase. Okay, so we gotta be getting to the top. Like, look at how. Oh, I'm out of energy again. Whoopsies. Look at how the rocks are changing. We now have like more igneous rocks as we get closer to the surface. So we gotta be so close to it, right? I can only imagine. I mean, maybe we're just gonna build and pop up right at our thing. I mean, I don't, it, it's right here. It's getting more and more to our right. I just want us to be carving right up into a mountain and that's what's taking so long. But I'm gonna get it, slowly but surely. Block by block, we gotta be getting close to the top. We gotta be, it's nothing but normal rocks now, which usually means the deeper you go, the more, I guess, diverse your, you know, mining experience tends to get with different materials and stuff popping up. I mean, we're just mining through the night anyways. I don't think any monsters come out right now because we are in a peaceful world, which is sort of what I wanted. I don't think I'm gonna be very good at combat in this game just at the start. Being able to deal with things my own way by just being able to craft and learn, especially since there does definitely seem to be an extra level of depth to it. Okay, we're low on energy again. I'm gonna go ahead and eat some more of this, the berries. Oh, I put away the torch, that's creepy. Okay. That certainly helped. Let's get back to this. And it sounds like it's daytime out again. I hear the birds chirping, and hearing the birds chirping is a good sign. Oh, I got some sand now. Oh no. No, no, no. I didn't even realize. My ax broke. Hopefully I can use this for now. Oh, that's gonna take a lot of wax. This thing doesn't have too much durability. Come on, I need more sand. Oh, and this thing's in the way? Sorry, this wasn't in the way before. I have, I didn't even notice. Like, that's so weird to me. I, I don't know how I didn't notice. Okay, I'm gonna try to just dig up through the sand. Oh, there's not too much sand. Oh, no. Okay, so I'm just gonna have to use this. Uh, no, yep, the totem. Cause I, I mean, I can make a normal ax again. I mean, I can do that, yeah. So like, if we go to handcraft, I can just make a normal one, but I need more sticks, which I, I might be able to make. Yeah, I can craft a couple. Just do two, that should be enough, and it is. So we'll do that, that should at least be a little bit better. <laughs> Can't believe I got myself in that situation. So now I just need to equip that on the right. Good. And to work we go. <laughs> a lot less damage, but I'll recraft that other one soon enough. Crazy how quick we got through that though. Hold on, I didn't want to do that. Get the torch back out. I like how the torch will just sort of go forever. No, get that, the shovel, there you go. And then do this. We just gotta keep getting up, slowly but surely. One step at a time. I'm sorry it's taking so long, but we're, I gotta be getting close, right? I don't see how I cannot be. Takes a lot more hits to get through everything now, though. Like, we're gonna get to the surface. It's gonna feel so wonderful. We're gonna cheer, we're gonna lay down in the grass, gonna take a deep breath, and just be like, yeah, life's good. Luckily, the sand's only two hits to get rid of. One, two. 
One, two. So now we're making a lot more progress, for sure. <gasps> oh, beautiful sunshine! We're back out on the surface! Where's home? And look at this, I'm really right by my house. <laughs> that couldn't have gone any better, right? I mean, I, I guess. Let's get this, get that trunk. Get this trunk over here as well. Two, three, four. Maybe it was three hits, I might have missed the first hit. But I think the trunks are pretty important to grab. We don't have too many of those, so just trying to grab some while I can. Let me pick up some of these as well. But now that I've made the torches, I have a lot more to do. I just don't know what I need for it, so we just gotta get back to work. So I think I should also place a torch or two down. Gotta do it within my parameters, of course. But if I could just cover this area a little bit with some torches in like each corner. Oh, that was outside of it. So I'm gonna have to break that one, if I can. There it is. Did I get it back? Oh, I don't get it back though. That's sort of concerning. I guess it wasn't too bad to make as soon as I found flint. Make a torch there, sort of floating, but I'm not gonna complain. And then we'll just make it on the corner over this way, just to make it easier for now. So, no. Yeah, you don't get the, the torch back. That's really lame. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put it away for now. Um, I'll just hold the, this other shovel. Interact. Um, so I'm looking for a door now. Where can I find a door? We have some storage blocks, plain wooden door. For this, what do I need? I need any timber. And I also need just timber. Okay, so I thought I had timber, but maybe, oh no, I gotta turn it into more. So uh, go ahead and craft this stuff. And also with these, I have a couple of these, so I can definitely do this. Got it. Okay, so that should be a lot easier. Move all the way back down and get the plain wood door. And I'm supposed to make two of them, so one, two. And then I also needed four storage blocks, which are these right here, glue. How in the world do you get glue? Uh, a common crafting ingredient, glue for stuff that sticks. How do you make glue? I don't see that anywhere. This is where it just sort of drops you off in a weird way. It's like, okay, how in the world do you make glue? Do I find glue? I'm gonna take one minute to make a plain wood door. Wow, okay. Well, I guess we have to figure that out. Yeah, how in the world am I making glue? Also, uh, what about making a new ax as well? I'll do that. Uh, press to interact. If I go to my recipes, I need another stone heavy hammer. Craft it. And it doesn't look like I have the option to make anything more. That's where I'm gonna need a more advanced crafting table like the workbench. And for that, we need timber, base material, ancient tech remnants, which actually, I could do this now. Um, so yeah, glue. Maybe I can find out in the knowledge base. We have an atlas. A planet-shaped tool for ort design, of ort design, used for navigation and resource scanning, undiscovered regions on the atlas are covered in fog. Can I, I can craft one of these? Guess not. Um, hmm. Let's see if I can't find glue. Opals, flint, whole bunch of findable material. Gems, I can mean they're special. Ancient resources, crystals, vegetation. I got sap, creature. Not in there, food, not, it's not food. Glue is not food, components. Right there, glue. Oh, I can craft it. It's it's sap and bone, so I need to beat up some opponents. Oh, I feel bad for that then, because you know, those guys are so cute down there. But I, I gotta be able to get bone somehow. And I guess that's my best bet. I'll use this shovel then. That should be enough to get rid of some of them, right? I could have maybe bought, made that crossbow, but I feel like that wouldn't be the best idea. So I'm so sorry for this, buddy. I hope you don't hit back too much. Oh, you do. Oh, you do a lot. Uh, maybe. Ow. Oh, what happened there? I just got like thrown. What's happening? Are they all mad at me? Did I just alert the horde? Certain creatures are hostile and will attack you if you get too close. Don't avoid combat. Move away from the creature before it starts attacking you. Got you. Okay, this is weird. Okay, here he is. He just knocked me back super far though. I don't like that. Okay, let's try that axe. Maybe that'd be better. I'm so sorry for this. I didn't want to have to do this, but I have to. Where, where did you go? Where did I go? This is nonsense. Come on, he's almost down. I don't like how they can charge me. That's not fun. No, get back. Oh, did I get him? I think I got him, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Did I not get anything for that though? Stout wild stock. Spitter. Why are there so many opponents? I just I just want to be able to deal with one. 
What in the world, man? I don't think I got anything there. Low health. Uh, can I eat food? Will that help? It'll definitely help with my energy. Uh, you've been hit with a positive status effect. Okay, I don't know how to heal myself. Maybe should have read more of that hint to find out. I just don't know. Man, oh man, is that weird. See, so, yeah, what can I really do then? Because I didn't get any bones for that. Even though I beat that guy up, I didn't get any bones. So sometimes even the really simple stuff, like making, what was it? Not a door, but a storage block. Yeah, a chest. Seems to be really tough for some reason. It wasn't really like that for Minecraft. I know, maybe I should stop comparing and contrasting. But you know what? I've said I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna start doing it. I wanted to make my way over to the blue thing that we've always seen in the distance, but I actually don't know where it is at the moment. Um, should be this way. And maybe along the way, we can figure out some other stuff too. At this point, I am very confused, you know? Also, I have a lot of stuff I can exchange for, right? Or at least a couple, stone level coffer, and then there's two feats we have gotten. I thought we had gotten more than two, but I'll take what I can get for now. We got a 100 cubits, two skill points, and a cleanse point. I'm gonna use those uh, skill points soon. Um, and we get uh, another, this is a stone feet coffer. And we get another one right here. Getting close to level seven. That's pretty cool. Okay, so yeah, let's move over to our character. Right here, and do skills, and I'm gonna work on vitality twice. Then we have two more points. I then I'm gonna do that in power, because if I could knock down some stuff, that'd be really good. And then there's some other things. I guess I should try one of those, so like I should cleanse maybe one vitality. And then like hammer mastery, shovel mastery, axe mastery, grapple mastery, spanner. Increase spanner wear, remove by 10%, and spanner action speed by two. And there's like sling bow and then bomb. I think we're gonna do hammer, because that seems nice and simple. We use that a lot. And there's even more than that. It's insane. We're gonna spend our four skill points. And yeah, now our action will be doing more damage. Whoa! Whoa, that's bright. I don't like that. Because there's more enemies down this way, but they're gonna cause me problems, aren't they? What if I just hit you with this? That seems to work. It does 200 damage. Maybe this is the best thing, the best thing for fighting. Probably shouldn't be, though, because I'm gonna be taking damage. Come on, get you, where'd you go? Combat is really tough in this game. This is more difficult than Minecraft. Where was the guy I was fighting? Ow, there. He's so quick. I thought these the little guys would be the easiest thing. I'm so sorry, I don't mean to do this, but I have to. Okay, this time he actually dropped stuff. He dropped the bone, he dropped the tallow, material cataloging, cool. But man, that takes so much out of me. Maybe I should get one of those crossbows. Maybe it is too soon to start moving to the the blue thing in the sky. I sort of lost it anyways. Ugh. This is not easy. <laughs> get back up and we will, uh, I do slowly start restoring health over time. But probably only to an extent. I'd have to imagine, oh. Okay, no, I thought that was some kind of ore. Just another tree thing. So maybe I should try the bow and arrow or whatever it was, the slingshot. It's called something. The problem is I still don't see a way to craft glue. I don't see that being an option at all. We know how to craft it, but where to craft it? That's bizarre to me. So we did get our, a couple things. I never actually got this ax out of here, so let's go ahead and grab that. And then also the doors and the wood. Put it there, sure. Okay, so a new objective available, press open the journal to find new objectives. So, journal, what do we got? For our, our pinned, you know, we have that, but for objectives, like right now we have the tutorial, which is your journey begins, core, if you build it, they will come, but there's also other things, door combinations. It's not a real home until you've got a door. You can use several door pieces, place down information to build bigger doors. Pin objective, so acquire door pieces. Only, so you need me to do more doors, great. Um, a spot of gardening. Peace, tranquility, and a spot of gardening. Grab a shovel and dig up some grass and flowers to add a relaxing touch to your builds. To plant grass, seed, or flowers, simply equip them in your hand and use them to place them. To get longer grass, simply place more grass seed on top of the grass, interesting. Um, I think we'll keep with this for now. Um, acquiring more dirt pieces shouldn't be too bad. It's gotta get to, uh, 
the doors, which are here. So we can craft two more of these, right? One, oh no, I need a lot more timber. That's fine, I can make more timber, I think. I might, I might need to go chop some stuff down. Yeah, actually I'm all out. So that's fine because we do have the proper materials for that. I'm gonna, yeah, let's eat one more strawberry. Starberry, whatever. Uh, I'll get the torch out and then on the side I will get the ax. That'll be good. I wanna start chopping down this tree a little bit more. That thing is glowing now. That might be like somebody's wicked awesome tree house with like free stuff. I'm missing out. Uh, like maybe they have like a going on going out of business sale, some really cheap deals on bread. I don't know anything really. <laughs> I could use a lot of everything. Let me find out. Yeah, we could go to plenty of other different isle or not islands, but planets and explore those as well. I mean, I feel like that would be interesting. Maybe there are different planets that are a little bit more vibrant into my tastes than this one. That would be fun. All right then, lumberjack. Got another uh, level coffer for that, which is good. I'm gonna break a couple of these. And our axe still has plenty of durability left, so I'm not too worried about that. Okay, so uh, getting some of this down this way. Come on. I don't think I'm gonna knock down this entire tree right now. Just be a little bit too much work. But that got me plus 19 twisted wood trunks. I don't need to spend all those right now, but if I could do it like 18 of those, I'm sure that would be handy, so. We're gonna get to that by uh, interacting, and then that should be good. Use 10 of them, so now I should be able to go back down this way and make two more doors, just like this. There, not too bad, is it? Uh, we can grab this one. I mean, I guess I only needed one more door, but hey, I'll take what I can get. It is weird though, like I, I wish I could get more inventory space or I could find a way to get rid of some of this stuff. Like I can split it, I can split some stuff. I don't really need it in my inventory. But no way to like trash it. There's no trash can to put it in or anything. It's very weird. So we have 30 seconds for that plane door. I guess I should start, I mean, I I only need one more. So I accidentally crafted two, I should cancel that other one. I, that's something I can do. So I might as well get to that now. Ready, uh, contract, cancel item crafting. There you go, totally fine. Just gotta wait 17 seconds for that one. And look at this island, not island, planet. If I got this out, I mean, it tells me a bunch of information, but I can't like teleport over. That'd be so cool. Is there another planet? Under development. Hidden leaf. It looks like there's other people that are there as well. That is so cool. Like that idea is so awesome. Camp pickles. Uh, I wanna go visit, like, is there free pickles there? Like, I got I, this place has bread, the place has pickles, we're like half the way there to making a sandwich meal. But how do I get there, you know? Is there any way I can do that? I'm, I'm sure there is, I just forgot it because the tutorial takes a long time. You know, so much more I have to learn. But it seems so cool. Like, I do wanna explore stuff and see other people's settlements, but I also wanna figure out my own stuff. That has to be somebody's house, though. That has to be. I'm sort of curious to see what they've been up to what successes they have found. I mean, it does say there's a home. Yep, that's a home. You can actually see on the on the mini map. Home right there. So they've they've been busy. There are just planets everywhere. It's like that idea, the scope of that is so cool. The fact that you can look up and see these planets where other people are playing right now and building their bases, that is really, really cool. I'm um, gonna get our last door here. I'm just throwing in. Okay, so I can combine those all into its own thing. That's good. I might wanna do some inventory management to see if I can't do that with anything else. But for now, um, I think it's gonna be good to equip these to the bottom and just place these down. So if I could, oh wow. Not how I was expecting this to work. These are tiny, tiny doors. Ah, so I can interact with it and open it. There you go, dear diary, trophy earned. Uh, door combinations, so that's another thing done. Yeah, I did it, I did it. <laughs> Your journey begins. <laughs> I have a door for no reason. That's it, it's something. I can make eventually a, you know, a house on top of the hill. So if we go back to our journal, I'll check out the, actually, let's do the exchange first. Cause there's a lot of stuff here. Um, I have an iron feet coffer, which will give me a good couple things. These always seem to give you the same stuff. They never give you items. They only give you currency. So I don't really think I need to 
open all of these individually. I think I can quick collect all of them. Wowee. And that got me a couple more things. Quick collect those as well. That's sort of more satisfying anyways. Uh, core feet complete. What's in this box one? Okay, journal. So a spot of gardening. We can, we can pin that one, and we can pin one more thing. Building and crafting a furnace. Feel the heat, build a furnace. Adding heat to your crafting capabilities opens a whole range of possibilities. Cooking food, smelting metal ores, and discovering new recipes, both a furnace base and furnace crucible are needed to create a working furnace. You can use basic tools like wood and peaty soil to fuel a furnace. However, coal will be a far more efficient fuel if you can find it. Pin objective. Okay, so we'll try to get some of that kind of stuff done. Acquire or craft stones, we can do that very soon. Um, and then place grass seed, which I don't think I have any grass seed. Oh, no, I do. Barbed grass seed. So let's go ahead and equip that down there. And I'll just do that down at the bottom. Or down like around where my house is not. So I don't really need it anywhere else. So yeah, placing some grass seed. Is this not what you wanted? Is that not good enough? Maybe I just need to do that a lot more once I find more seeds. What is this? Fibrous leaf? Uh... Not much I can do with it, so uh, don't need that right now. Hmm. Yeah, well look at this. Warp conduit, an intricately patterned block that can be stacked with others to create a warp. I guess if we made this, I, we'd have to make a couple of them, I think. Then we can walk through and maybe go to one of those other islands. I think they're not islands, planets. I don't know why I want to call them islands, it's so weird. I don't know about the grass seed thing. I might have to do more to it, or maybe I have to do it in my own place. Maybe that was a problem. Right now, let's just go ahead and create the craft stones. We can do that pretty easily, I think. Um, press square to interact. Craft stones. I think that just means normal stones, right? Like if I were to do this right now? No, this doesn't count. You know, I do need to do this. I mean, it's working, so maybe I should wait for it to actually do its thing. And now I have contents, and if I were to collect this, does that count? Yes, it does. Okay, so I'm fine, I'm fine. I can wait for this stuff to do its thing. It does take some time. <laughs> but if that continues to go, we should be good. So there's lots going on right now. I will play for an extra couple minutes, I think, and then we'll move on for today's episode. But I think that we're starting to come out of this knowing a little bit more on how to play and how to progress. There's obviously a whole lot more that can be done, that will have to be done for me to even just really get practically started. But I feel like these are some good first steps in these first three episodes. I plan on doing at least five episodes in total, seeing how you guys are liking it and seeing if we want to continue after that. Of course, we're playing plenty of other awesome games in the meantime, so I'm sure you're bound to find some things to enjoy. Uh, so yeah, there, there is uh, 10 in total, looking for a couple more. So that's gonna get me a couple more, but I need more than that. So interact. I don't know which one takes the least time. Like that crafting time, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. So it's the same for every, everything. So let's just go ahead and keep going with this. And that should be good. Wish there was a way to speed it up a little bit. That'd be nice. That gives me to 14, this gives me to 16. So I just need two more to be done. I mean, I guess if I made a second crafting table, but it is tough that I need to make more crafting tables literally just to craft stones. Like that's just sort of a little bit silly. I can understand that with the fur furnace. We saw that in Minecraft, but I don't know. Okay, so we got two more. We should get, be getting another two in just a second. Oh, there's four more, nice, okay. So, with that, acquire a furnace base. Equip and place the furnace base in the vegan area. So, go back to this and the furnace base, which is just a bunch of stones and some flint. My only remaining piece of flint. So, hopefully that turns out well. And then for the crucible, we can also make that because it's just stones. So that's gonna be crafting. We'll work on that a little bit more in the next episode, but that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Boundless. If you watched this video, make sure you comment zebra mining so any of you watched at the end of the you are a zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the zebra herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.